Hello, hello. I'm Li Hao. It's December, which means it's time for Advent of Code. Yeah. So Advent of Code is a series of programming challenges every day on December until the 25th of December. We're gonna solve the challenge day by day. We're gonna collect two stars for every day, and hopefully by the end which is 25th of December, we're gonna get 50 stars. So, are you ready for the challenge? <laughs> so today is day one. Let's take a look at what challenge awaits for us in day one. Let's go. So day one is trebuchet. Something is wrong with the global snow production and you have been selected to take a look. The elves, let me zoom it in a bit. The elves have given you a map on it. They have used stars to mark the top 50 locations that are likely to having problems. So, you are going to do this long enough to restore the snow operations. You will need to check all 50 stars by December, 25th of December. Collect stars by solving puzzles. Two puzzles will be available on each day in the advent calendar. And the second puzzle is unlocked when you complete the first. Each puzzle grants one star. So, good luck! You try to ask why they can't just use the weather machine. Well, not powerful enough. And where they are sending you, the sky, and why your map looks mostly blank. You should ask a lot of questions. So, hang on. Did you just say the sky? Of course. Where do you think the snow comes from? Will you realize that the elves are already loading you in a trebuchet? Please hold still. We, are still, we need to strap you in. As they are making the final adjustment, you dis they discover that their calibration document, which is your puzzle input, has been amended by a very young elf who was apparently just excited to show off her art skills. Consequently, the elves are having trouble reading the values on the documents. The newly improved calibration documents consist of lines of text. Each line originally contained a specific calibration value that the elves now needs to recover. On each line, the calibration value can be found from by combining the first digit and the last digit in that order to form a single two-digit number. For example, in this, this is the text that we are given. Given the calibration values of these four lines are 12, 38, 15, and 77. So take the first digit and the last digit for each line. So this is 12. The first digit is 3, last digit is 8, so it's 38. First digit is 1, last digit is 5, so it's 15. And the first digit is 7, and from the back, the last digit is also 7, so it's 77. Adding this all four digits together, you get 142. So consider your calibration document. What is the sum of the calibration values? So this is the puzzle inputs. They're going to download. I'm going to copy all this. I'm going to save. And then we are going to calculate this. And we're going to solve it with code instead of manually looking at each line. Right, so this is my project folder. Let me create a file called day one uh, puzzle1.js. I'm gonna zoom in, in a bit. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna put our puzzle in here. Cons input equals to since this is a mountain line, I'm gonna put it like this. Okay, and we are gonna solve this puzzle. Right. So, how am I going to do this? I'm going to split the inputs, first of all, to lines by splitting it input with splits. This will return us an array of characters for each line. And then for each line, we're going to find the first number and the, sec the last number, right? So, how am I going to do that? So, the first number is I'm going to find it is you're going to traverse from the first character to the last of each line. So I have L equals to 1. And then while it's less than the length of the line, I'm going to traverse. I'm going to find um, each line. This is that character. And I'm going to check if character is a digit. So the way we're going to do how to check whether it's a digit um, over here, I'm going to use a regular expression to check it. So I'm going to say if it belongs to a digit and it matches this regular expression, I am going to consider it as the first number 
equals to number. We're going to convert it to number. And since we already found our number, I'm going to break from this loop. I'm going to do the same thing over here, but for the last number. Um, but this time around, I'm going to traverse from the end of the array whoops, to the beginning. Right? I'm going to decrement, decrement my i from, from this uh, from the last to the first one, right? After we get the first and our last number, uh, our calibration value is actually um, the first value plus the last val num first number plus the last number. But of course, it's um, it has to be uh, times ten, right? So this is this one. Uh, it's the tenth digit, and then this is the first digit, right? So this is the value that we get, right? And then the final final calibration, right? The final calibration is the sum of all of them. So the I'm gonna say cons uh, let final calibration value. We start with zero and add it, add up for each line. Calibration value, and at the end of the loop, after every line, we're gonna log out final calibration value. Okay, so let's run this code. Note uh, day one, first uh, puzzle one. I'm gonna get 54,990. Let's see whether it's the right answer. Submit. And yeah, we got a one gold star. So let's continue to part two. So your calculation isn't quite right. It looks like some of the digits are actually spelled out with letters. Oh no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and also nine. Okay, so spell out with letters. Equipped with this new information, you now need to find the real first and last digit of each line. For example, like this, this is 2, and this is 9, this is 8, this is 3, right? So it's 83, and then this is um, 1, and then this is 3 over here, and we have 2 and 4, 24, and then we have 9 and 7, wait, hold on, this is 4 and 2, so it's, it could be a num it can be a number digit, or it could be spelled out as um, alphabet and it could be 1 and 4 so this is 14 and this is 7 and then this is 6 right so and add it up you get 281 so what is the sum of all the calibration values okay uh, so the puzzle input is still the same but we need to uh, change our logic over here. Hmm, this is tricky now. Okay, so uh, besides testing whether the character uh, match uh, is is this, we also need to check out uh, whether um, it can be spelled out as this this digit over here. So first thing is I'm gonna keep this uh, digits in an array. Oops. Over here like this. And then um let's see. So here we are going to check this. Hmm. Okay. So besides testing uh One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Uh this checks if it's the number digit. Uh is uh this this character over here is matches this. If it does not, we are gonna go through and also check whether the digits uh matches 
the spelled out digit matches, right? So here we're going to loop through the digit of digits. Um, I mean, I think we are going to use the, instead of for off loop, we're going to use the normal, the, the for i loop. The reason is that um, in that case, I can get the index of which digit I'm going through. And it's such that we are able to say this is the index 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'm able to get the value b besides just getting the spell out um, digit as well. We're going to get the actual value of the uh, digit, the numeric value of it as well. So I'm going to go through the digits array. Right, this is the uh, we'll loop through the digits array at the same time. Uh, the value starts from one, and in the loop, we are also incrementing by one. Okay, so when if we if we sort of manage to find the digits, if it matches, then we are going to use this value as the first number as well. So, how do we do that? Well, one way, one simple way we can do is let's see. Uh, let's try and see whether it works. So we're going to slice the string from starting from i. So previously we're going to get the character of i at the position i. But now we're going to get the substring from beginning from i. And then if we're going to say that if this starts with uh, the digit j. So we loop through each digit, and if it starts with this digit, we are going to say first, first number equals to number j. Okay, sorry, number, this is the value, right? This is the value of the digits. And we're going to break. And over here, when we're going to break, we're going to break the outer loop instead of just the inner loop, because we already found the first number. So this is the outer. Or rather, we're going to say search first number. I'm going to break this. And similarly, the last, we're going to do the same logic over here for finding the um, number from the back, right? So we're going to also look through the digits array. And instead of, um, instead of slicing from this to uh, slicing from the beginning position, we're going to slice the other way around where it's the ending position is i. Um, I'm going to include i, which means this is i plus 1. Because uh, usually when you slice, it does not include the that, the, that position. It's, um, yeah. So it's, it's and uh, starting from i position is being thrown away. So we, we need that i position character as well. So it's i plus 1. And this is ends with this number. And then we found it. We're going to say this last number is this value and then we're going to break this loop and let's try and run and see whether it works hopefully it does um oh no oh this is oh we don't have this loop search last number and this is the search last number over here let's save this and then just realize this is puzzle one. We're gonna duplicate this. This is puzzle two. And the puzzle one uh, code, let me just undo everything so that uh, if you want this code, you can find, I'll drop the link in the description so that you can find it later on. And nope, this is the puzzle one code, untouch. And this is puzzle two that we are gonna test. And then before we try to run this with the input, let's try to run this with this example and see whether it works, right? So let me comment this out and then say cons, con, cons input equals to this one. And let's try and run and see whether it works. Note day one, puzzle2.js and enter 281. Is that yes? That is correct. So let's try the actual input and see whether it works. Hold on. Let's uncomment this. Uh, 
and let's run again. 54,473. Is this the right answer? Submit. And woohoo! Yay, it works! So that's day one, guys. And we, we have solved and we have gotten two gold stars. And we are going to challenge for the day two. So we're going to see you in the next video for day two. And see ya! Bye-bye!